All right, so what was it, huh? Stevensville, Texas is a farm town where when the sun goes down at night, the stars light up in the sky. And last week, witnesses claim they saw something hovering hundreds of feet above the ground, and they say they saw fighter jets, F-16s, chasing these mysterious objects. What gives? Pete Hardinger is the director of the Round Town UFO Society. Uh, he's in Circaville, Ohio. Sir, good morning to you. Hello there. Uh, you did not witness what's described in Texas, but if I told you the following, that they say it was a mile long and a half mile wide, it was, quote, positively, absolutely, nothing from these parts. What would you say? Well, I'd have to de uh, decide it was an identified flying object. Then uh, we're supposed to have some uh, MUFON investigators go to uh, Stephenville and investigate. I've been a member of uh, the Mutual UFO Network for several years. So you're going to go down there and check it out? No, not myself. We have investigators in every state in the country, and uh, so there'll probably be uh, some local Roger, investigators. Thanks. Circleville, Ohio, on the telephone there, head of the Roundtown UFO Society. By the way, Megan, 200 UFO sightings reported each month. That's a big number, Bill. Not just in a year or a decade, but each month. You a believer? Yeah. You are not alone. Thank you. Just a few months ago, the Associated Press took a look at how many American adults think that UFOs do in fact exist. In addition to Bill Hemmer, there are many more. They found that more than a third of American adults are believers. Far fewer than that, however, have actually seen a UFO with their own eyes. See that? The poll shows that only 14% of adults have actually gotten a glimpse of a UFO at some point in their lifetime. Are you part of that group, Bill? Uh, maybe. You think you've seen what about, something? What about you? I'm too busy editing this tease that we're about to read, and I want to make sure that it comes out the right way. Come about on. girls in puberty. Back puberty? The, yeah, yeah, you're going to hear about that in a second, okay? <laughs> UFO. Puberty. There's got to be, you know when you're flying in an airplane, and there's just so much space up there and down below, yeah. there's got to be something out there. When you get out in the countryside and you look up at those stars, they go forever. Galaxies out there are much larger than ours. All right, you're freaking me out now. All right, well, that's what I'm here for.